All right, Math 7 students, this is your Chapter 6 test review. By this point, you should have completed your review packet to the best of your ability, and you are using this video as a tool to um, check your answers and also clarify any questions that you have. Okay, so number one, we need to write the percents as decimals. Okay, and when you have a percent, you need to swoop two away from the percent sign. So when I'm rewriting this, it's 0 0.0005 would be your decimal, okay? 128%, same thing. Swoop once, swoop twice, and this is 1.28. Number three, it says a teacher weights the grades for the, uh, weights the final grades as follows. Okay, so one-fifth is homework, 25% um, projects, 0.4 for quizzes, and 15% for the final exam. And it needs, you need to order these categories, okay, so not the numbers, but the categories from least weighted to greatest weighted, okay? The best way to do this is to change them all to one type. I'm gonna choose percent since I already have two percents. So one divided, or one fifth, you take one divided by five, you get 0 0.2, okay? And then to change that to a percent, you swoop twice, and that's 20%. 25%, 0 0.4, swoop twice, and this is 40%. Okay, so if I'm ordering the tasks from least to greatest, um, the least task is 15%, and that is the final exam. So I'm going to say final, and the next is um, one-fifth, which was homework. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Final, and then homework. The third is 25%, which is projects. And the highest percentage is quizzes. And that's it for number three. Numbers four through six, you have to use this table provided, okay? And before you can use this table, I need you to convert everything to one type, okay? So three over 20 is 15%, that's already a percent, so is that, this is 45%, and 11 over 25 is 44%. 0 0.22 is 22%. So this question says, um, which category in the table shows the least? So out of 15%, 33, all of these numbers, which one is the least? Um, 15% is the least. So how I say this is, um, which category? Well, this is the sixth graders who participate in sports. You just use the table to determine what that number means. Number five says, which is greater, the percent of seventh graders or eighth graders participating in other activities? Okay, so the two pieces of data I need to look at are participate in other school activities, 7th graders and 8th graders. Okay, so which is greater? 7th graders have 45%, 8th graders have 44%, so 7th graders have the higher percent with 45%. And Part C says, if your friend says that at least twice as many, twice means two times, um, at least twice as many, Seventh graders participate in other activities as playing sports. Is this true? Okay, so we're looking at seventh graders. So is twice of 18%. So if we take 18 by 2 would be 36%. So that is true because 45 is greater than 36%. So I would say yes, true because the seventh graders who play sports is 18%. And the percent other is 45%, and this is more than two times. All right, number seven, we are writing and solving a proportion. Okay, you cannot solve an equation if it tells you to do proportion. So this is part, whole, percent. What number is 45%, so that's my percent, of 60, that's my whole. So I have x over 60 equals 45 over 100. Okay, from this point, you use cross multiplication. So I have 100x equals 60 times 45. 
which is 2,700. Divide both sides by 100, and x is equal to 27. Same thing on 8. 84 is what percent of 160? 48 is, is is my part, what percent I'm trying to find, and my whole is of 160. So I have part over whole equals percent over 100, and then cross multiply. So 160 times x is equal to 4,800. To solve for x, I need to divide both sides by 160. And you get x is equal to 30, and that needs to be a percent, since you're solving for what percent. <clears throat> the other way we can solve proportions is by writing equations. Okay, so we need to replace what we see. So 8 stays 8. 0 0.05, you got to change this to a decimal. So it would be 0 0.005 is is equal. So 8 is what, per, or, um, excuse me, 0 0.005 times what number n? And then to solve for n, divide by what is stuck to it. This cancels out, and in your calculator, you're doing 8 divided by 0 0.005 which makes your number 1,600. And on number 10, what percent of 130 is 182? What percent you replace with P of is multiply? 130 is, is equal 182. To solve for P, divide both sides by 130. This cancels out, and in your calculator, you do 182 divided by 130, and you get 1.4. Now notice that is not a percent. You have to swoop twice and your actual answer is 140 percent. Number 11, I had you cross out, do not do number 11. Number 12, you are finding percent increase or um, percent decrease. This is a decrease, okay? So this is my old number, this is my new number. Percent decrease is old minus new over old which is 1875 minus 1860 over 1875. And in my calculator, I get a percent equal to 0 0.008, okay? And that is a decimal, so I have to swoop it to a percent, and my actual um, percent is 0 0.8 percent, and this is a decrease. Number 13, find the new amount. So 2,000 miles increased, keyword there, by 33%. So you have to find 33% of, oh, what did I just do? Stop that. 33% of 2,000. Change this to a decimal. You take 0.33, you multiply that by 2,000, and you get 660. So 2,000 is increased by 33%, which is 660. So I take 2,000. I add 660, and my final answer is 2,660, and that is miles. <clears throat> Same thing on number 14. You have to find 65% of 140, 0.65 times 140, and that is equal to 91. Now this is decreased, so you take 140, and you subtract 91, and you get 40. Nine, and this is degrees, so I'm just going to put a degree symbol. And next questions are um, finding the original price discount, sale price, or selling price. I had you cross out number 15 and also number 18. Okay, so I'm going to do 16. So original price, you can also think of this as item. Discount is 30% and the sale price is 206.50. So the first thing you have to do when you find the original price is find the percent that you actually paid. So you have to take 100% and subtract 30% and you actually paid 70%. So that's what you're going to use in your formula. Okay, then I have percent of item is amount. So my percent is 0 0.7 of is multiply. My item, I don't know, so it's just item, is is equals, and your amount is your sale price, so 206.50. To solve for your item, divide both sides by 0 
and your item ends up being $295. 17, the original price is $24.50, the discount was 18%. Find the sale price, percent of item is amount, is my first step always. So 0 0.18 times my item, which is $24.50, is my um, discount. So my discount is $4.41. So I take $24.50, subtract the, the discount, the amount that I saved, and that is equal to $20.09. Moving right along, now we're on to simple interest, okay? Um, these are the easy simple interest problems because I give you I and P and R and T. I believe I had you cross out number 20 and 21. So we're just focusing on 19 and 22. So I equals P times R times T. I'm trying to find I, so I multiply that by 800, the rate as a decimal. Don't forget that part, so 0 0.065. And time has to be in years, in this case it is. So in my calculator, I'm doing 800 times 0 0.065 times 2. And the interest is $104. 22. Um, I equals PRT, same thing. I equals P times R times T. The rate is what I'm trying to find. Keep in mind, this is um, also years, so I'm good to go there. So I have 837 equals 3100 times R times 6. Okay, then I'm multiplying 3100 by 6, so I can get one number on the other side. So I get 837 equals 18600R. Okay, and then to solve for R, you have to divide both sides, thank you, Bell, by 18,600. Uh, and you get R is equal to... 0.045, you have to swoop, swoop, and your answer is 4.5%. Moving right along, an account that earns annual simple interest, find the account balance after um, the, uh, excuse me, find the balance of the account. So same thing, I equals P times R times T. This is P, this is R, this is T. So my interest is equal to 1,400 times this is a decimal, which is 0 0.0125 times 3. And if I do that in my calculator, I get $52.50. You need to take that interest and add it to your principal. So 1,400 plus 52.50. And that is equal to 1.452. In 50 cents. So these are two part answers the balance and also the interest earned. Same thing on 24. This is P, this is R, this is T. Be careful, this is nine months, which is 0 0.75 years. So I is equal to 5,000 times 0 0.06 times 0 0.75. And when you do that in your calculator, you get I is equal to $225. Okay, that's the interest. Now you need to take your principal and add your interest, and you get $5,225 as the balance of the account. Last question, and I have one minute to do it before my video cuts me off. Um, so the gas tank of your car is 40% full. There are eight gallons of gas in the tank. What is the capacity? My suggestion to you would be part whole and percent. So the percent is 40% full. The whole, I'm trying to find that. I don't know. Because that's what I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the capacity of um, the gas tank. Oh, what's happening? There we go. And the part is eight because there's eight gallons in there now. So part over whole equals percent over 100. 40x equals 800. Divide both sides by 40, and the tank holds 20 gallons of gas. And I made it with 28 seconds to spare. So, um, and you were crossing off 26 and crossing off 27. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to email me. And good luck on your test.